session 9 wide area network infrastructures van agenda is van switching technologies van transmission technologies van connectivity methods and voice over data systems that's what you will learn in the session van technology overview van and uh, the osi model in a relation to the osi reference model when operations focus on layer 1 and layer 2 and that you can see here layer 1 and layer 2 data link and physical layer that is van services van standards typically describe the both physical delivery method and the data link layer requirements the data link requirement data link layer specify the frame relay atm and hdlc whereas physical use electrical mechanical operational connections so physical addressing flow control encapsulation all these things are part of your osi layer in relation to osi reference model when operations focus on layer 1 and layer 2 when access standards are defined and managed by a number of recognized authorities including the international organization for standardization that is iso and telecommunication industry association that is tia and electronics industries alliance that is eia in relation to osa the standards describe how to provide that i'm talking about the physical layer this describe how to provide van services and layer 2 describe standards describe how data is encapsulated for transmission to a remote location large spans and wide area networks the key issue that separates van technologies from land technologies is scalability a van must be able to grow as needed to connect many sites deliver reasonable performance for a large scale network thus a satellite bridge that connects a pair of pcs and printers is merely an extended LAN. WAN switches concept. WAN switched network fall into two categories: circuit switched and packet switched. In circuit switched, we have POTS and ISDN. In packet switched, we have frame relay, ATM, and X.25. When switching concept circuit switched when a subscriber makes a telephone call the dialed number is used to set switches in the exchanges along the route of the call so that there is a circuit from originating caller to the receiver on the call so this is dialing b this is a ringing so there has to be one circuit among the infrastructure available from a to b because of the switching operations scd to establish the circuit the telephone system is called circuit switched network if the telephones are replaced with modems then then the switched circuit is able to carry the data as well so we just add one modem in between suppose it is used to access a web page we used to do it earlier in fact uh, there were no broadband earlier we used to do telephone lines only 
uh, for internet connectivity we used to use a modem telephone lines were connected with the modem we used to dial and we used to hear that sound also irritating sound to connection and the connection established and then we could start working with the internet i worked in 1991 92 when uh, you know when i was uh, studying and then first time when we used internet that was way back in 94 95 only if so there will be a burst of activity that uses the entire bandwidth while the page is being downloaded that will be followed by no activity while the user reads the page and followed again by another burst while another page is accessed if the circuit carries data it may not be very difficult the internal path is shared by several conversations time division multiplexing tdm we discussed in the previous lectures is used to give each conversation a share of the connected connection in turn tdm assumes or sorry assures that a fixed capacity connection is made available to the subscriber when switching concept circuit switching and tdm each device to be multiplexed is assigned a specific time slot in the frame at each time slot 8 bit is read from each device and fixed length frame is built using that data if there is nothing to send for that time slot a null bits are sent eight null bits are placed in the frame for that device look at this device a b c these are the three computers and these are the frames or the data packet now the frames are divided for example this so this is coming from first this is coming from second this is coming from third so these packets are sending when there is no data and these are null frames set when there is nothing to be sent from one frame so these are frames so everybody is getting its share as i said time of the channel is divided that is called time division multiplexing this figure explains the tdm very well packet switched is like a, a transport department or a postal department an alternative to allocate the capacity to the traffic only when it is needed and share capacity among many users if the circuit is to be shared there must be some mechanism to label the bits so that the system knows where to deliver them the bits are gathered into groups called cells frames or packets so sending data to b packets are created so one packet is going through one path second packet is going through another path they are traveling through different paths and finally they reach to the destination each packet must contain the network information in order to be delivered to the correct destination the packet passes from exchange to exchange for delivery through the provider network packets switched describe the type of network in which relatively small units of data called packets are routed through a network based on the destination address contained within each packet the circuit only extend or sorry exist while the data travels through them they are termed virtual circuits and are categorized as switched or permanent switched virtual circuit cvc or permanent virtual circuit pvc the svc or circuit virtual circuit circuit is constructed at the time of connection and disappears when the user is done permanent virtual circuit is pre configured pathway through the provider's network the path is always available to the user for data transmission 
these networks can also be connectionless or connection oriented the internet is a very good example of connectionless packet switched network each packet contains all of the addressing information required for successful pack packet delivery frame relay an example of connection oriented packet switched network each packet does not require addressing information and travels a pre-configured path between the source and the destination physical layer concept of van we have a company subscriber data terminal equipment dte data communication equipment dce and we have physical layer terminology defined here to connect the data to the remote machine local loop or de demand like a demarcation point where the uh, access from one building or one location or one city to another location i mean kind of border you can say that so this is customer premise equipment that is on the customer location on the service provider equipment that is on the cloud part or the service provider here we have van service provider network local central office co and co switch switch a van service provider the connectivity between the two this is physical layer concepts of van so the subscriber then we have van service provider then this is customer premise equipment and then this is service provider equipment and then this is demarcation point this is data terminal equipment data communication equipment local loop and local central office and co switch so van devices uses dial-up modems access servers van switches routers all these things so these are van devices first is for example dial-up modems then we have cable modems that can be used you can also have dsl modems right now most likely you guys are using dsl modem only i'm also using dsl modem to connect to my internet access servers we also have a csu dscv uh, dsu and van switch uh, that is uh, which is uh, uh, connecting the two networks or diversified networks and this is your routers to allow communication to find the path from source to destination when data link layer concepts data link layer protocol define how data is encapsulated for transmission to remote sites and the mechanisms for transferring the resulting frames a variety of different technologies such as ISDN, frame relay or ATM are used to move the data across WAN connection. Many of these protocols use the same basic framing mechanism, high level data link control that is HDSLC. WAN data link layer concepts, the most common WAN data link protocol are HDLC, PPP, uh, frame relay and ATM. ATM is different from others because it uses small fixed size cells of 53 bytes, that is uh, 48 bytes of data, unlike other technologies which are variable sized packets. Another data link layer protocol is multi protocol label switching, that is MPLS protocol MPLS is increasingly being deployed by service providers to provide an economical solution to carry circuit switched as well as packet switched network traffic it can operate over any existing infrastructure such as IP or Ethernet it sits between layer 2 and layer 3 and is sometimes referred to as layer 2.5 protocol. So protocol summary is link access procedure balanced LAPB uses X.25 link access procedure D channel LAPD 
ISDND channel, then frame relay, then high level data link protocol, uh, control protocol HDLC, Cisco default, and then point to point protocol, which is serial when switched connections. Data link layer protocols define how data is encapsulation encapsulated as well as how it is transported between the sites. This example, dedicated point to point, Cisco, HDLC, PPP, they use this. Package switched, use X.25 frame relay ATM and circuit switched use ISDN. A number of technologies for the transport of data exist. While the encapsulation will vary with the technology, most use the ISO HDLC standard or a modification for it, modification of it. WAN connections, like we have WAN, private or public, dedicated or switched, dedicated means lease line, circuit switched means PSTN or ASDN, if you are using switched, that may be circuit switched or package switched, frame relay, and this is the standard. If it is public, we are using internet, broadband VPN, and DSL or cable broadband wireless. So this is a summary, one single slide explaining the WAN categorization and the underlying technology being used. WAN link connection. Dedicated or lease line networks, I'm talking about private, dedicated, are simplest of the implementations. A dedicated point-to-point -point link is provided by the vendor. Bandwidth is guaranteed between the endpoints. Lease lines are also used to connect the subscriber to the vendor to make use of other technologies. Switched communications link can be either circuit switched or packet switched. Circuit switched use PSTN or ISDN, packet switched use frame relay X.25 or ATM. And the third was public. Public connections use global internet infrastructure. Until the development of VPN technology, the internet was not a viable connection option security issues prevented its use. The internet is now expensive and secure option for connecting to teleworkers and remote offices where performance guarantees are not critical. DSL, cable, broadband, wireless, all we use these to connect now. Dedicated connection link. A point to point link is used to provide a pre-established when communication path from the customer premises through the provider network to a remote destination. Point to point links are usually more expensive than shared naturally. So we have dedicated or lease line connection like this is a New York office, this is London office and a provider network is being used. This, this is a standard in the US, this is a standard in the Europe here we have used T3, here we have E3, but service provider will guarantee the connectivity of the two endpoints. Voice data over systems. Voice over internet protocol or VOIP is a technology that enables one to make and receive phone calls through the internet instead of using traditional analog PSD and public switched telephone network lines. So we have a telephones, phone adapter, internet and telephone connection established. The personal computer use cable modem, internet and another personal computer. So there are all possibilities now. So VOIP is a packet STN and transport of classic public switch telephone system audio over IP network. It allows two way voice transmission over broadband connection also called IP telephony or internet telephony or voice or broadband or broadband telephony. PSTN versus internet. The PSTN means normal telephone. 
voice network use circuit switching here it use data network use packet switching dedicated path between calling and caller party but no dedicated path between call sender and the receiver broadband reserve in advance but here it require an early bandwidth as it needs cost is based on the distance and time here cost is not based on distance and time that's all for this session thank you very much